guys, if you're looking to see how you can keep your, you know, makeup sweat proof for as long as possible, this video is made for you. Click on it, watch it. You won't be disappointed. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we are just going to be doing a full face of sweat proof makeup. Uh, these are products that work for me. So of course, do what works for you. I just thought I would share with you how I, you know, create my makeup look using the products that I use and how I apply certain things. So if this is your type of content, please feel free, sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. I have learned that there is three steps within your makeup routine that you really need. And it's going to be the before application, your middle application, and then of course, after your application. Um, so with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Black Radiance Matte uh, Setting Spray. So I am going to use this again today. Um, this has became my best friend in the summertime. So if you have combination to oily skin, then I do recommend something matte. It doesn't have to be Black Radiance, but any matte setting spray will work on your face. Um, if you have regular skin, then I'm sure original setting spray will work, but it's all about how you set your face for the ultimate finish. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face. Okay, so now that that is setting in, I'm going to go ahead in with my Porefessional uh, Benefit Primer. So I'm still loving this as well. And again, guys, this is just what works for me, and I know that I may be you know, out of routine for how some of you guys do your makeup, but I'm just doing what works for me. So I'm just gonna put like a little, just a little amount on there, on my face here. I'm just gonna pat it in. So if you have larger pores, then just pat in your primer on your skin. So on the forehead, I don't really, my, you know, my pores and stuff are okay up there, but mainly your pores are like in your cheeks area and chin. But yeah, I'm just gonna pat in my primer here. Okay, so while the primers are soaking in on my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna do like a little, you know, pop of blue, maybe some purple, put a little pink in there. I'm not for sure yet, but you know, pink is my color, but we'll see. I'm just gonna go with the flow and see what type of look I can create. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and set my eyelids and today what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set my eyelids with a uh, concealer. So I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And this one is in the shade 405 Toffee Caramel. So that's that right there. I love this color. I figured I'd just go in with a concealer today, set my eyelids because I'm gonna use some shimmer. So I figured that'd be perfect for the look. I hope everybody is doing well. It's Sunday morning right now. All right, so now that the concealer is set on my eyelids, I'm gonna set it with some translucent powder here just to set down the concealer so it can dry up a little bit quicker. And then for eyeshadows, I'm just mixing up a few shades today. I'm just going in and out of palettes here. So I got like three palettes I'm using today. Um, this first one is the Zoeva Caramel Melange uh, palette. This one is the Selected with Taste palette. Um, so these are the shades here. And then I'm just gonna take like a couple transition shades over here and just put that in my crease here. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl, the Nudist Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm just gonna build this uh, transition color up. I'm gonna use probably this chocolate brown here and just start building this up here. So that's the palette. All 
Oh yeah, I forgot how pigmented this brown is. This brown is so pigmented, it could be black. It's very dark. So I love this color though. I love the color. It's very pretty. So it always seems like I can get one eye perfect and then the next eye, it seems like it struggles a little bit. I don't know if that's just me. Do you guys do the same thing? Like you notice like the very first eye you put on, it's really good. And then the second eye, sometimes it turns out patchy. That's what's going on with me right now. So I'm just trying to blend this out here. I know sometimes patting it as well, like patting the product in on your eyelid, I know sometimes that helps as well. But yeah, I've been noticing that sometimes here lately. Maybe because I'm right-handed, so of course I can do my right eye better than my left. Maybe that's what it is. All right, so now that that is on, I am going to use this Destino Alomar Cosmetics palette. These are the colors here. I did receive these in a BoxyCharm. So I'm aiming to go with this blue color here and see what we can create. So I may take the blue and maybe like a brighter blue here as well. I don't know, we're just gonna play around with it and see what we can create. So I'm gonna use my finger first and see what happens. We're just gonna dip into this blue here. Okay, and it is pretty pigmented. Okay, I like this color. I think I'm gonna mix it though. So that's the blue color right there. I think I'm gonna mix it with another shade, but I'm gonna bring in this little color here, this green color here. Okay, that's really pretty, you see that? That's really pretty. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the next eye as well. So that's very, very pretty. I think I'm gonna take this like this purple color here. I'm gonna take this purple color and I'm gonna just put it above like my lid here, above my crease here. Just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take me a little brush and kind of blend out these edges here. I'm thinking about doing maybe a little wing liner and some lashes. For my wing liner, I'm gonna use the Big Fat Liner and I'm gonna do that and pop on some lashes here. So we'll see, we'll see if we can get it right. Okay, this wing liner is a little bit thicker than what I wanted to be today. But you know what, we're gonna continue. I should have put on a um, eye tape. I should have put on an e.l.f. eye tape so I didn't have to have that liner so thick because I really don't want it to take away from my eyeshadow. All right, so there's the first eye there. I mean, it looks good, but I'm thinking about just taking some of the eyeshadow and putting more on my lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the second eye here. And for my wing liner, I'm learning to just go in the middle of your eye right here. So like in the middle of your eye and then just draw it out. So just draw it out like that and create your wing like that and then just kind of V it in like that. Now I'm not perfect at wing liner. I'm still learning how to do this stuff myself, but that's just what I'm seeing working for me. Um, over time, I'm sure I'll get better at it, but for right now, that's how I'm doing it. Unless I have a, like an eye tape on. So. 
All right, so there's my wing liner. That's the best it's gonna be for now. It looks like one of them's thicker than the other, but you know what, I'm gonna rock it anyway. Maybe I need to make this one thicker. Even it out. That's as good as it's gonna get. I'm not doing it anymore. So I'm just taking my brush and dipping into that blue shade here. I'm gonna go ahead and with some lashes, um, I'm going to use the Kiss Lashes number 11. I like more of a natural look. Um, and plus I'm not really going anywhere today, so. All right, so I'm, again, I'm just gonna use my Kiss 11 lashes. I'm gonna pop these on and then I will be right back. All right, so lashes are on. I tell you every time that I put on my lashes, I'm thinking of my family telling me, put it on as close to your lash line as possible. So yes, that's what we're doing. Put your lashes on as close to your lash line as possible and it'll look more natural. So anyway, we are going to step into the foundation and I am using the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And I have mine in the shade Warm Sun. So this is the foundation here. That's what we're gonna use today. And I'm just gonna take two bumps on my, on my hand here. All right, and then remember, we already sprayed our face the first time, so now we're about to go in with the foundation, and I'm just dipping my brush in here. I like two pumps because it works for me, so do what works for you. If you want one pump, do that. But we're gonna go ahead and put on the foundation. And I know two pumps is probably, you know, more than enough for me, but it's just, I don't know, it's just a thing. So, but and I don't even end up using all of the product on my wrist, or yeah, I don't even use a, all the products so anyway we're gonna go ahead and blend in the foundation and I really like this foundation because it is sweat proof sweat proof foundation They have like so many shades and I'm sure you'll find your perfect shade. They have a number of shades. Let me know if you guys have tried this foundation and what your thoughts are on this foundation. I really like it. All right, so we're gonna go in with concealer now. Um, so what I'm gonna use today, I am still liking the Cover FX Concealer. So again, this is D1 in the Cover FX Concealer. So that's the shade there. And I'm just gonna apply it under my under eyes as usual. Do what works for you on the amount because I like to have full coverage under my eyes. I do have dark circles as you can tell. Put this on here. All right, so now we're gonna let that sit in for a couple minutes and then we'll be right back and we'll blend it out and finish the remainder of the face. All right, so now that the concealer has set in, we're gonna go ahead and blend it out, and I like to blend it out with my finger. I like to blend it out with my ring finger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out here. I even like to take the leftover concealer on my finger and just cover over some blemishes. Okay. So now that the concealer is, you know, blended out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with my setting spray. So this is the second time. So we do it before you apply makeup, second time. So we do it before you apply makeup. Now we're doing it after you apply your foundation and concealer. So take your setting spray. I know it may sound funny. Take your setting spray, set your face again. 
This is going to help lock in that foundation and it's going to help your makeup application last without being so, you know, oily and things like that. The more matte, the better, but that's for me. So if you like the glowy, you know, glow look, do what works for you. You can probably set your face twice, but to, for us combo, you know, oily skin people, especially in the summer, I'm setting my face three times for it to stay in its place, you know, as long as possible. All right, so now that you sprayed your face the second time, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and set the under eyes, put on your translucent powder, and then go from there. All right, so I'm taking my Real Techniques blending brush. I'm just going to blend out the concealer one more time before I set my under eyes. You see that? You see the difference that made already? Even with setting your face. I mean, I'm telling you guys. And I learned these tips and tricks watching other YouTubers. I don't remember the lady's name, but from here on out, whenever I do these tutorials and stuff and I'm learning these tricks, I'm gonna let you know. These are some, some makeup professionals. So I'm not a professional, but I like watching them. Okay, so both of the eyes are blended out. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set our face with a translucent powder. I've just been taking my powder puff. I know it's kind of, don't judge me, it's kind of dirty. Let me get another one. All right, so I'm just taking my powder puff and I have been mixing two translucent powders together and I'm telling you guys, it works wonders. So I'm currently using the um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Setting Powder. So I got this, I think, at CVS. And then I'm still using my CoverGirl Invisible Clean and Clear Translucent Powder. So I'm just mixing both of those together and applying those on my face. And they work wonders. They really do. Sometimes you have to mix your products to make them work better. So that's what I've been doing. So I'm just dipping into the little, you know, translucent powder here. Just dipping into it with my powder puff. And I'm just tapping off the excess on my wrist around my wrist on the back of my hand just tapping off the excess here and then set my face so and I'm just patting it in what a difference Just pat it in. I even got it on my neck. All right, you see that? You see that? That makes such a big difference right there, guys. I'm loving it already. So I'm gonna go ahead in with my bronzer, blush, and highlight. And today I am using the Physician's Formula and I'm using the Endless Summer bronzer here. All right, so there's that. And then we're gonna go in with blush. So for blush today, I am gonna go in with the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. And this one is in Rosy Rosewood. So that is the color there. I like this color, it's very pretty and it's very pigmented. Beautiful color, beautiful summer color. And then for highlighter, I am going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. So that's that shade right there. Not going to put too much on, not today. Yeah. 
you guys know I usually like to go ham with the highlighter, but I think you guys can see it pretty well here. So and then I like to put it near my brow bone. So I'm just gonna line my lower lash line and then we're gonna put on mascara. All right, and then for mascara, I'm going to use the Essence Double Trouble Mascara. So I'm just gonna use this today. You guys know what I forgot to do when I put on my lashes? I forgot to put on mascara on my original lashes, but you know what, you can't even tell. All right, so now I am going to line the lower lash line. I guess I should have done the lower lash line first. Um, of lining it with eyeshadow, then put on my mascara. But you know what, it's okay. I'm gonna use these two colors here and I'm just gonna line the lower lash line and then we'll do the lips and then we'll be all done. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna take these two blue, blue and green colors here, mix them together and just line my lower lash line. These are very icy. I love it. That is so pretty, guys. You see that? Look at that. That just made my whole eyes pop. I love that. That's beautiful. Sometimes when I line my inner corner here, it makes my eyes water. So I like this look. All right, so we just gotta do lips and then we're gonna do eyebrows. I am gonna go in with the Give Em Lip High Shine Lip Gloss. This is from AF94, so that is their lip gloss their lip gloss right here so it's pink um, i really like it of course it's pink you guys know this so and then i'm still taking my elf lip liner and what shade is this i think it was spill the tea i think this one is spill the tea so i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna line my lips here all right then we're gonna go over with gloss Okay, I like the color. It does seem a little sticky, but we'll see how that plays out. But I really do like the color. The color's pretty. They blend in perfectly together. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face one final time here. So again, we're taking the Black Radiance Matte Setting Spray. We're just gonna spray the face one more time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead in with the eyebrows real quick and then we will be finished. And I'm just using my Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Pencil. I really like this. Um, eyebrow pencil. I believe that this is the one I got at Dollar Tree and I really like it. I like it. It's really nice. The color is perfect too. All right, guys, this completes the video. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Again, these are my tips and tricks for sweat proof makeup. Um, I mean, oils are still going to seep through because it's natural. You're going to have oils, but I hope these tips helped you. But basically just set three times before your foundation, after you apply your foundation, and then after you complete your face. And that should lock everything into place for a good time. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will have more content loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.